Hey friend, Roger Christofferson here again with another first listen review. And, uh, you know, if you were just kind of sitting around wondering, hey, I wonder if there's anybody babbling about music out there. Well, your, your question is answered. <laughs> Screw that off. I don't even care. Because here I am, babbling about music again. Um, it's kind of a different one for me today. I'm not a country music fan, not really. There's some country artists out there that I like, but overall, I wouldn't consider myself a person who listens to country music. Uh, although there's, you know, like I said, just a few ones here and there. Funny enough, one of the best concerts I've ever been to was Diamond Rio back in the day. It's actually one of the my most memorable concerts. Those guys put on a great show. But other than that, I don't really listen to much country. Uh, but we're talking about Tom Petty. It's called Petty Country, and it's a, uh, a tribute to Tom Petty and his uh, his legacy and all his songs and his music and all that. And uh, I love Tom Petty, so I I just decided I'm going to give this a listen. You know, I hope I don't hate it. And um, Cat out of the bag right from the start. I did not hate this. I actually was quite impressed with this. Although most of these people on here, I don't know who they are. There's a few that are, <clears throat> you know, obviously really well known names. Dolly Parton's on here. You got Willie Nelson on here, George Strait. So there's just people that I know. But then there's a whole lot of people I've never heard these names before in my life. But either way, uh, 20 songs. So I'm not going to run through all 20 songs because that would take me way too long. Uh, kind of the reason I just wanted to do this one is for people like me. I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, if you're a country fan, should you get this because you know Tom Petty is kind of known as a rock artist? Is it something you're going to enjoy, or you know somebody like me who listens to rock music, uh, am I going to enjoy listening to something that's done by a bunch of country artists? Well, I enjoyed it. Uh, they didn't make it super country. I don't like. Twangy. I don't like, uh, you know, I really don't like uh, <laughs> all that, the twanginess, uh, you know, banjo. I really don't like. Oh, there's a little bit of banjo in here, although it didn't really stand out too much. A lot of pedal steel added in, but uh, quite melodically in most songs, and I think it added uh, instead of taking away or distracting or anything like that. So, like I said, I'm not going to run through every song, but, uh, you know, as far as what I thought it was, but uh, like, actually, Chris Stapleton did the first song, I should have known it. Um, I'm not really familiar with him at all, but I think he did a good job. I guess I'm going to run through every song, but Wildflowers, I love that song. Thomas Rhett, never heard of him. Did a great job with that. Thought it was really cool. Running Down a Dream by Luke Combs. Uh, cool. Um, I thought it maybe it was a little stale as far as the production goes. I don't know if, like, I didn't actually look through all the credits here, but if it's the same guys playing on most of these songs, if they all had their own people come and do it, I know in Nashville and country music, it's a lot of studio guys playing a lot of the same stuff, which is part of the reason I don't really listen to a lot of country music, because <clears throat> I hate to say it, but a lot of it all sounds the same to me, but when you have the same guys playing on all the music, um, that happens. The same producers, uh, things are going to start sounding a lot alike. So, um, Dolly Parton does uh, Southern Accents on here. I actually did a review of her album Rockstar, which I thought was really cool. Which, I mean, she's a, uh, a legend, did a cool job with this. I really, actually really enjoyed that one. Here Comes My Girl. Uh, Justin Moore. I never really liked that song as like one of my favorite Tom Petty songs, but he did a good job with it. Actually, enjoyed listening to that. Uh, same with American Girl, Derek Bentley. I've heard of him, but uh, did a good job with that one. I've heard that song done so many times by so many artists that um, you know he just pretty much stuck to it and uh, uh, did a good job with that. Uh, Stop dragging my heart around by Lady A or Lady Annabelle or whatever. I don't really understand what the whole deal was there, but um, <clears throat> uh, you know that was cool. It's just more. More known as a Stevie Nicks song was on her uh, album, but you know, obviously Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers performed on that one, and Tom wrote it, so uh, it makes sense that it's on here. I thought it sounded really cool. Good job. Still prefer the Stevie Nicks version. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, I forgive it all. Jamie Johnson. I've heard a few things about Jamie Johnson. I actually kind of like him. Did a good job with this one. <clears throat> um, kind of made it his own little thing. Made it give his own little twist, which I thought was cool. Uh, I Won't Back Down by the Brothers Osborne. Never heard of them, but I thought they did a good job. This one I actually liked how this one felt. Um, it actually, uh, they made a, gave it a little bit of a country twist to it, and I thought, um, you know, they, they made it their own little thing. Refugee with Winona uh, and Lainey Wilson. Uh, I didn't know she was still out there doing anything. I kind of lost, you know, heard anything about her in years, but I thought this was a cool job. One of my favorite Tom Petty songs. <clears throat> and the funny thing I was noticing right about this part, is most of these songs are pretty true to the original. Didn't really make them 
too countryish sounding, quite honestly. I think I already said that, but um, there wasn't, you know, they, they may have added some instruments, but the, as far as the actual arrangement goes and, uh, you know, the whole backing rhythm tracks, they didn't really change a whole lot in most of these until now. Uh, Willie Nelson's Angel Dream, he definitely made that his own. It's Willie playing all over it, singing. Uh, that's a short little song, two and a half minutes. Uh, but he definitely put his staple on that, made it his own song, which I thought was really cool. Um, don't listen to a lot of Willie Nelson, but you know I've heard a lot of his stuff over the years, and I thought that was a pretty cool little thing. Uh, Learning to Fly by the Eli Young Band, I thought they did a great job with that. Didn't think they really did much different than Tom did, but I really enjoyed listening to that one. They did, wrote some really cool harmonies on that one. Uh, Breakdown, Ryan Hurd, Carly Pierce, don't know them, um, although I thought they did a cool job, it's kind of nice hearing that as a duet, uh, it, it's one of those songs that, uh, back when Tom, uh, no, Tom Petty's version of it, and back when I used to listen to the, uh, the song, I, I never really got into the spoken word part of it, but I liked it when the song kicked in, um, I think they did actually a pretty good job with this and made it actually, um, I don't want to say better than Tom Petty because nothing's better than Tom Petty, but I actually enjoyed what they did with it. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, You're So Bad by Steve Earle. I love Steve Earle. Uh, this is a cool, perfect song for him to do. Gave his own little twist to it. I thought that was definitely cool. Uh, Ways to Be Wicked. Uh, this one has Mike Campbell on it, <clears throat> which I just did a review of his album last week. And Margot Price, not familiar with her at all. She did a great job singing the song, however. Um, I, I've always liked this song. I thought that was a really cool uh, addition to this because it's not really one that you would expect to hear on a Tom Petty, you know, tribute, but uh, I guess since he wrote it, it's on here. Uh, this is the one that Mary Jane's Last Dance by the band Midland, or maybe it's an artist, I don't know. Not familiar with him at all. This one rocked more than Tom Petty's version. That was only a not country at all. It rocked. They added some cool solo at the end, which was decent, and then the, the playing throughout the whole thing was cool. They have the same attitude as uh, Tom, you know, with Mike Campbell's cool little guitar bends and stuff that he did for the rhythm, all there, but they rocked it up even more, which I thought was cool. I used to play this song on a band, and I thought that was a <clears throat> really cool, really cool version of it. I really like that one. Free Fallen by the Cadillac 3 and Breland. Uh, this one was a little bit of a, I don't know, didn't like this one. <laughs> gonna be, not going to lie, this one, I, I don't know, they... The, the feel of it was all weird. I don't know. I mean, they sang it fine. They had some cool harmonies to it. Um, I mean, it wasn't horrible or anything like that. But I love the song so much. It's like when the song comes on the radio, I don't even care what I'm doing, where I am. If I'm just arriving somewhere, i got to listen to the whole song. I can't turn it off. you got to sing it at the top of your lungs. It's a rule. I don't care. And this one, I don't know what it was. The groove was all wrong. Just That's all I can say. That the feel was wrong. The groove was off. They added a drum beat to it that just did not did not work. I don't know how, what else to say about that one. Sorry, one little. It wasn't. I won't say called a clunker, but it definitely lost the feel for me. Uh, but it, overall, sound they performed and sang it fine, but I don't know. I just, that's all I'll say about that one. I need to know with Marty Stewart and his fabulous superlatives. Cool little version of his. Definitely made that one his own. Kept it kind of rock with a touch of country to it. Thought that was cool. Um, not a big Marty Stewart fan, but uh, I know the name, and uh, I thought he, he did a good job. Then he tried to pretend he was Tom Petty. He actually made it his own version. Uh, now, don't come around here no more. This one has uh, Rhiannon Giddens, no idea, Yo-Yo Ma, who I've heard, and uh, Ben Montench, obviously from the Heartbreakers. Um, started out... They did a, you know, I, this one is nothing like the original. This, they definitely made it their own. Uh, the drum beat when it started out, I was like, all right, well, and this, because the original of this is kind of a cool experimental thing. Obviously, it's not anything like anything Tom Petty had ever done when this one first came out. Uh, but when the haze came in, I actually chuckled a little bit. I was like, what was that? That was a, the weird. That was the weakest hey or the weirdest hey I ever heard. It was kind of like, hey something to tell you it was like what <laughs> it was just a weird hey so uh, uh, but above and beyond that the instrumentation they had a little flute thing going on there they'd made it their own and it was cool after i got used to the hey um like i said it was just a little weird but that ends with you wreck me the live version by george Strait. uh one of my exes actually loved george Strait, so i used to have to listen to it a lot him a lot uh watch them whatever that movie was that he was in and uh so you know i'd heard a lot of george Strait stuff so 
I can't say as I'm a fan of his. Like, I kept wa- listening to it, but I actually enjoyed it. I didn't like despise listening to that style of country. So, <laughs> he ended this well. Oh, I'm laughing at myself. That's terrible. Um, but uh, this song I actually have played a few times in bands. Great song, fun, love it. Um, and I thought it was a great way to end this one. Great tribute to Tom. Really enjoyed it. Uh, all those couple, couple little weird things in there, but you know. I was expecting a lot more twang than what it was, and it wasn't there. Uh, like I said, really enjoyable. I think fans of country and rock, and Tom Petty, are going to enjoy this. I think that it was well done for the most part. And uh, so, you know, if you're questioning whether you should get this one or not, hopefully that answers those questions. If you have heard it and you want to add anything or got any cool Tom Petty stories or anything that you want to mention about the songs, uh, as always, feel free. And like, share, and subscribe to keep the music alive because Tom Petty's music is amazing. And when there's anything out there that we can do to keep his music alive, I think we should do and tell people about this um, album. And uh, yeah, that. So anyway, talk to you guys on the next one. See ya.